<laughs> wise men say. Who are these wise men? Why are they so wise? <laughs> Only fools rush in. What's the rush? Everybody just relax. <laughs> I can't help. I could help. I don't want to. I'm tired. My back hurts. <laughs> I can't help ordering a Diet Coke at every restaurant I go to. <laughs> like a friggin' angel, oh my god! <laughs> Sarah Sherman, also known as Sarah Squirm, is currently in her second season as a featured player on Saturday Night Live. She co-stars with Adam Sandler in an upcoming Netflix movie, too, called You Are So Not Invited to My Bat Mitzvah. <laughs> and she's on her summer tour with two shows tonight at Thalia Hall, and she joins us. Good to see you. Hi. Good morning. God, how... But this is a fantastic look you have. You it have. Is. It's, it's like Laura Ingalls meets It. <laughs> well, you know, we're at the home of Bozo. I had yeah. to, you, you know, have to step it up. I had to rise to the occasion, of course. How did this transition happen to get on that process of getting on Saturday Night Live? It's everyone's dream, and you always want to hear what your audition was like. Give us uh, an idea. Oh, yeah. I just did um, my stand-up, basically. Like, the producer saw me do stand-up, and my stand-up is, like, very um, grotesque and shocking I would uh -huh. say and so I was shocked that I got the job because what they saw was um horrifying shocking. Yeah, yeah shocking yeah what the, what about gross inspires you <laughs> how did that come about it's fun to make an audience obviously you know comedy you're making an yeah. audience laugh but it's also fun to elicit other responses from them like shock awe like during my live shows, people will like scream and go like, oh no, kind of. Yeah. So, uh, so you know you're getting a reaction. Yeah, so that's fun. You like getting laughs is, you know, it's boring after a while. You so want to get screamed. Yeah. So is that something where you, they, Lauren Michaels comes out and sees you do it at your venue or do you do it for him at Saturday Night Live? Yeah, so like the audition process is they, um, I did this comedy festival, the Just for Laughs comedy festival. Yeah. And so they saw me, some producers had seen me do stand up there. And then they like fly you out to do like a screen test, like in the studio. And that's like where Lauren sees you. And so it's, um, I thought it was going to be really scary, but the studio is like, it's, it's, it's like this, like the ceilings are low, everybody's nice, it's like a smaller room than like you would think, so it feels not that terrifying. Yeah. yeah. And it's got to be, you know, you hear nightmare stories about trying to get your sketches onto the show, <laughs> but you've had a lot of characters. You're like, what are you in your, it's going to be your third year or your second oh, season? Oh, yeah. It's gonna, I just finished my second season. And yeah. you've had a lot of stuff on there. Well, and thank you for saying this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's, um, oh my God. Wow, I'm like distracted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's so do you, fun. Do you think it's because you're more fearless than other people, or what do you think it is? I had amazing luck uh, working with like amazing writers, basically. Like, uh, the sketch group, the Please Don't Destroy sketch group, yeah. we write a, a bunch together and they're just like so good at writing and they're so good at jokes. So I just got lucky that I got to work with people like that. And like, I work a lot with like that Jewish Elvis clip yeah. I wrote with um, Dan Bulla, who's a writer there who also writes with Adam Sandler. And so it's just like, I'm just, I'm just lucky to be there. It's great. So how do, you, do you come up with ideas just on the fly? Do you set some time next to a typewriter on Saturdays at two? Or how, how does not, it work for you? She's not. She's a typewriter. <laughs> I like. Hey, that'd be kind of cool, actually. <laughs> well, it's like uh, if you work with me, basically what you'll what will happen is you'll get like a string of manic text messages from me at like two in the morning. That's like, what if we did a crazy thing where you know I had googly eyes for eyes and blah blah blah. So you like wake up in the morning with like a thousand psycho text messages from me, and that's um that's the, the writing part. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. how did you did you meet Adam Sandler at Saturday Night Live? How because you were opening for him and now you're in this movie. How that happen? Um, he uh, I saw me on the show, and I uh, write with Dan Bolo, who he works with. Um, and so they were like, "Come be a rabbi in this movie," and I was like, oh, "Of 
course. 100%. Wait, so Adam Sandler calls you. He's like, I saw you on the show and I love it. That's got to be something I, I did get a phone call from Adam Sandler, yes. And I was like, oh, my God. I better be hilarious on this phone call right now. <laughs> right? Yeah. The pressure of it. What were you like in uh, high school? You grew up in Long Island? I grew up on Long Island. I, like, I was really annoying, needed attention really badly, wore crazy stuff to school, always wanted to be, com be a comedian, was always loud, you know, got made fun of on the bus for being annoying. You know what I mean? It's like, it's just classic you know, comedian stuff. Were, your, were your parents funny, quirky people, artsy yes. people? Yes, my parents are very funny, and unfortunately, they've always been very supportive, so. <laughs> unfortunately. Yeah, they encouraged <laughs> bad behavior, so. Like, and what yeah. do they think of this? I mean, they must just be loving it. Yeah, oh, it's the, it's the, yeah, they're having the time of their lives. It's like, you know, because I'm from Long Island, like, SNL is, like, that thing down the street that's, like, really yep. cool that you like yeah. aspire to do when you grow up and so, so the fact that my parents get to like go to SNL is like awesome and the fact that their daughter is on it is crazy. And on their bragging rights so yeah. they're all, they love yeah. that, right? Totally. Every time you guys play these clips I'm like oh yeah I forgot about this one. I, you've done, I mean seriously <laughs> there's, there's people, I mean I think we've interviewed a lot of people that have been on over the years and the amount of characters and sketches you've been in just in that short amount of time is pretty amazing. It's am it, it, it's it is amazing. I got some like Twitter notification that was like, congratulations, Sarah, you've been on a hundred sketches. And I was like, oh my God, I'm old. I'm really <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so great to meet you. Oh yeah, Good Thanks luck to you. Me. And Sarah's at Thalia Hall tonight. The 7 o'clock show is sold out, but there's a 9.30 show as well, so uh, go it see It is her. not sold out. 7 p.m. is not? The, the, no, 7 p.m. is sold out, but the 9.30 one is really not, so please All buy right. tickets. And that's the fun one, because people yeah. have been out to dinner beforehand, right? Yeah. Yep, that's Thanks so much, one. Sarah. Right. Nice to meet you. Thanks, Thanks for having Sarah. me.